Alright, so... And on the... Mm -mm. Very quick tutorial. Yeah, I'm almost like a knot. Something I... The, I, the tutorial... <laughs> hey guys, why did I do that? Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I'd do a very quick, simple, and straight to the point eyebrow tutorial. The very first video I had ever posted on my YouTube channel was actually an eyebrow tutorial. And just thinking about it, like... It's so cringy, it's so bad. I didn't say one word, I didn't describe anything I was doing, and I didn't mention any of the products I was using for my eyebrows. And it's just not a video I would recommend for you guys to watch. So that's why I wanted to remake this video because my eyebrows have changed. Well, the way I do my eyebrows have changed, the products I've used changed. And just everything is so different. So if you guys are interested in learning how to get big, bold, and bushy brows like mine, then just keep on watching. Well, my eyebrows are already bushy, so can't really do that. But you guys will definitely learn some tips and tricks. So if you're interested, you already know what to do. Keep on watching. So this is a sponge I'm going to be using for my concealer. And it has a little straight edge right there and a straight edge on the bottom as well. So the first brush I'm going to be using for this eyebrow tutorial, one end is angled. Just like this, very small, very fine. And the other side is a spoolie, and this is by Morphe. The second brush I'm going to be using is just an angled brush, just like this, for the concealer. And the last brush is going to be by Morphe as well, which is from a set. And it's just a rounded concealer brush. So the products I'm going to be using for my eyebrows is a bar of soap. You can use any bar of soap. I recommend... Usually the orange, I think it's the, or any bar of soap would honestly work. So I believe this one is from Neutrogena. To fill in my brow, Brow 8 palette. It comes with a concealer, wax, and six different shades for your eyebrows. Which is very convenient if you're a freelancer like me. So this would go with any person's eyebrow shade. I use my Bright or Die Concealer, which is a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's this one right here. And I am in medium, light medium. Now that I zoomed you guys in, I'm just going to go ahead and go into detail what I do for my eyebrows. So what you're going to do is get your bar of soap and get your spoolie and just go ahead and scratch it very softly. And when you comb up your hairs, you're going to want to comb them according to the way they grow. So you see how these don't go up straight, these are going sideways. A lot of people ask me why I do my eyebrows because they're already so thick, as you can tell. But it's just like, I'm so used to doing my eyebrows that I can't just not do them, you know? That's the one thing. So I'm just going to grab a very light shade. The shade I'm grabbing right now is this one right here. And at the beginning of your brow, you're just going to swipe upward. Alright, you can't really tell that I did anything. The next color I'm going to be going in with is this color right here. I'm going to dip it into both of these since my eyebrows are very dark. What you're necessarily doing is just outlining your eyebrow. And you never want to start with a very dark color in the beginning of your eyebrow just because they're going to look like little blocks and um, we don't want that. Unless that's what you're going for, then um, go right on, girl. And the black shade I'm going to be using is for the tail of my eyebrow. That's my boo. Is it just me or do you guys have like a separate ringtone for your like boyfriend or like your best friend? So like it's not just any text, it's like you know when to like look at your phone. Alright, so my eyebrows are not yet done. As you can tell, my eyebrows are looking very messy and I like them to be very sharp and clean at the bottom. And that's when the Shape Tip Concealer comes in. And I love that the applicator is a stick because you can just literally apply it like this onto both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Morphe um, concealer brush and I'm just gonna conceal my whole eyelid. That's where this very fine and small brush comes in to work. Okay, so they look crazy right now, but trust me, they'll look fine. That's when the little sponge comes in. I'm just gonna go ahead and dab my eye. And I like to use the flat applicator side for the inner corner of my eye. Alright you guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and just to let you guys know, you guys can use any brow products that you guys feel the most comfortable with. This is just a product I had just purchased about two weeks ago when Morphe came to my, well they opened a store in my local mall. So I'm just so happy about that. I don't have to pay for shipping anymore and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single view and comment 
and follow that I get on my YouTube channel. And the reason why I don't upload as often as I want to, I mean, I've been trying to upload every single week and I've been pretty consistent. I'm pretty proud of what I'm doing. It is really hard to post videos when I'm working full time every single day and when I get off, I'm super duper tired and I just like want to lay down and watch TV and eat. But thank you so much for staying tuned till the end and I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks for your eyebrows. I hope you guys go out and buy the Morphe 8 palette and if you don't buy the Shape Tape Concealer, I swear by it. I got my cousin on this and she loves it. Well, my boyfriend's cousin, but she's my cousin too, right? So, my cousin. Anyways, you guys really need to try this concealer out. It's full coverage, it's buildable, very... Sorry. It's very creamy and it's just everything you would want in a concealer. They have a range of concealer shades that you can um, try out. They can even match you at Ulta because that's the only place they... I'm so sad they don't sell it at Sephora because I'd be getting points for buying it every single time. And I definitely recommend that you go out and get this. It's a must have in your drawer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Subscribe right now. Go ahead and leave me some comments down below on video ideas you'd like me to do. Um, in a couple of weeks will be my last day at work so I will be able to record every single day and I just want to know what you guys want to see and I don't want to do a makeup look that you guys aren't going to watch, you know, I want something that everybody wants to know, or a look that everybody wants to know. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, I'm going to go ahead and leave my name right here, which is my handle for Instagram. And what you guys can do once you go onto my Instagram is you can comment on any picture and let me know that you guys want a tutorial on that certain look, or just comment on this video right here and let me know what look you guys want to see. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in my next video. Bye!